So when otters eat urchins, they set about a, a huge cascade of changes in their shore ecosystems. And a lot of those changes are really dramatic and they're important changes. In many cases, I think they're changes that we've forgotten about. So sea otters eat urchins, the kelp grows very, very quickly. And, and I always tell people they should appreciate kelp because it does a lot of amazing things. Perhaps the most important thing it does is it increases the productivity of, of nearshore ecosystems. It's essentially dumping carbon into that system and it's doing that by leaking into the water and it's also breaking up into tiny little fragments which in turn feed entire food webs that really are absent in systems without otters. And these are detritus-based food webs. So this is when we get little animals, we call them detritivores because they're eating kelp, that, that are now feeding on that detritus. Those little tiny animals in turn go on to feed bigger animals. So that's the first thing kelp does is increase productivity. The second thing kelp does, it's, a, it's like any terrestrial forest. As that kelp grows towards the surface of the water, it provides habitat for all sorts of fish, for other animals, for things that live on the surface of kelp, for herring to spawn on. And there's been a lot of studies, for example, done showing that there are far more fish in kelp forests than in areas that are dominated by urchins. So number two thing, otters make kelp, kelp increases habitat. The third thing that kelp does that's a really interesting thing that we never think about is it slows down the movement of water. So as water comes through a kelp bed, it's slowed down. And that means that organisms that are living in that forest, say they're spawning and releasing their larvae, those larvae are now going to be entrained and retained in that kelp forest because the water movement has been slowed down. Instead of being scattered off to inappropriate habitat, they're now caught in that kelp forest. The fourth thing kelp forests do is their natural breakwaters. They stop coastal erosion. You've probably heard about the kelp highway, this idea that people may have come into North America along the fringe of coastal British Columbia, traveling along kelp. Well, it would have been a beautiful still ocean inside that kelp fringe. Those are the four really important things that kelp does, and that kelp is of course made by sea otters, eating urchins.